So let's actually add Bootstrap to our application to make it a little bit prettier out of the box. And we can add things like a nav bar and uh, drop down menus and things like that. Um, so let's go to getbootstrap.com. We'll go to get started and we'll grab the CSS and JS lines from the CDN. So this is basically saying, go use Bootstrap from another server. We're not gonna serve up Bootstrap. Um, we're gonna grab it from somewhere else and that's going to make it very easy to integrate. And we don't have to do anything fancy for this. So I mentioned the application layout before. This has a style sheet, pack or style sheet link tag and a JavaScript pack tag. So these are loading CSS and JavaScript from your Rails application, but we can also add our own external ones like so. So here we'll put that CSS line in from Bootstrap and we'll grab the bundle line for the JavaScript and we will save this file. And now we can refresh our page and we have different text. And that is because we are loading the Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript now. So we can go into our view for a main index and modify this a little bit. So let's go and put a div tag here. We'll say class equals D flex. So we're gonna use flexbox to align um, everything inside of this div. And we'll say align items center and justify content center. And if we close this and tab this one over, um, we can refresh our page and now we have our text centered in the middle of the page. And if we inspect this, we can see how the CSS gets applied. So if we click on our div, we'll see our classes. These all come from Bootstrap. And we'll see Dflex sets it to display flex, justify content center, and we can remove that and that will be what moves it to and from the left or the center. Left is the default. And align item center, we can uh, untoggle this and it won't change anything, but if you add two items inside of that div, they can be at different heights, and so that will try and center them inside. So this is what we have for our homepage, and we can get on in the next video to adding a nav bar so that we have something a little bit more like a real application.